me. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to our fifth grade graduation ceremony for the school year 2022-2023. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of all of our fifth grade scholars. Scholars, you did it. Okay. Tell the, tell, tell the person next to you, you did it. Yeah. Good job. I am so proud of you. I just want to wish you the very best in middle school next year. So keep on doing your very best. And this would not have been possible uh, without the support of our families, our uh, PSA staff, our uh, you know, all of our PSA staff, our you know, maintenance staff, our kitchen staff, our paraprofessionals, and especially our teachers. Okay, so I just want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Miss Daly. Everyone, everyone just shout out Miss Daly. Thank you. And Miss Hanson, Miss Hanson, Miss Daly, and also last but not least, Mr. Holmes. These are our fifth grade teachers. So thank you so much for all the hard work that you have done. Special thanks uh, to our uh, leader uh, in elementary school, our education leader or principal, Ms. Kelly Comrie. Let's give her a round of applause as well. Ms. Comrie, thank you so much for your excellent leadership. So keep up the great work uh, that you are doing and know that we value and appreciate so much. And today is your day, scholars. So congratulations to all of you. I just want to say a couple words of mom uh, to our uh, parents here. Nicholas,你要我念我自己的，你认识的，你不认真，你来看那个director，要读我收，他有写，他给个，要找我背了几根的，那，你不用写，嘿，啊，我到在那做工，背了种，啊，车啦，个人的，啊，找车多，啊，
and made a promise to try your best and do work, hard work to complete all of your assignments for school. You promised to come ready to school to learn and to ask for help when you needed it. I am so proud of all of you for keeping that promise. You've worked hard, you've had fun, you've faced many challenges. You've made friends and you've made up with friends. You've experienced many emotions. And now you're all getting ready to move up to middle school. It's a little scary, I know. But you will travel to different classes, make new friends, face new challenges, and learn new things. Just remember that you are all honorable, open-minded, willing leaders. You howl. To do your best in middle school and beyond middle school, it takes leadership. And you will need to be open-minded, honorable, willing leaders to succeed in life. What are the qualities of being a leader? To me, a good leader has clear goals, strong communication skills, a positive attitude, and is ready to learn new things. Ask yourselves, what do you really want to get out of middle school? And then work towards these goals. Some of you might want to make the school a better place. Some of you might want to make new friends. Some of you might want to get good grades. Whatever that goal is, you need to decide what goals you want to achieve in middle school. Albert Einstein once said, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal. Setting goals and working hard to be your best self will only help you grow as honorable, mm -hmm. open-minded, willing leaders. Remember, there are many ways to be successful in life and become a leader. Leaders don't have to be the most outgoing or the most intelligent. You can lead by example, or as our Likens Oath says, you can model the way. As you look forward to middle school, think about the talents and skills that you have that make, make each of you unique leaders, and let those skills and talents shine. Congratulations again to all the graduating fifth graders, and good luck next year. We'll miss you. celebrate our scholars successfully completing elementary school. As one journey comes to an end, a new and more exciting one lies ahead, middle school. Scholars, you should all be proud of how hard you have worked to get here today. I know we all are incredibly proud of you. I hope you all continue to work hard, be kind, and continue to be your goofy selves. Remember, scholars, when given the choice between being right for being kind, choose kind. We have shared some great memories this year, such as Mrs. Hansen's class helping each other when things get tough, mystery questions on Math Jeopardy review, Ms. Carter's class helping their first grade reading buddies learn throughout the year. I've had a wonderful opportunity to have followed most of these scholars from second grade through today. It has been an amazing, it has been amazing watching them grow as students and as people. This year has been an interesting one, from droids invading the May 4th classroom, skiing in Wild Mountain, exploring Washington in search of Bigfoot, learning about everyone's favorite topic, fractions, <laughs> and rock climbing at base camp. These are some amazing students who have an unbelievable potential, and we cannot wait to see what they do in the future. This group is very special. They're, this group is a big reason why I love coming to work each day. We have seen the fifth graders show leadership, empathy for each other, and hard work. This group has shown a lot of growth in academics and how they accomplish hard tasks. With their hard work and determination, I know they will do great in middle school and beyond. We will definitely miss these students next year. And yes, my class, you will still get my background on my work computer. 
Thank you again for coming and celebrating our fifth graders. Now, you will hear from three fifth graders who will give a short speech to their fellow class. <laughs> students and families. Welcome to the fifth grade graduation. We are very glad you were able to attend today. Families, thank you for coming to PSA to keep the person this graduation. Here are some memories that happen in fifth grade. Going on field trips like this ski trip, apple orchard, and base camp. Playing outside even when it's a little icy. Someone didn't catch a thing during the spring concert. There are cats in the air. Laugh, have fun laughing with each other. Seeing ducks at base camp and going to the town Taking <laughs> graduation pictures, going to the meal party. Mr. Holmes and Mrs. Carter falling off a chair. Mrs. Hanson running on the spiders. Watching movies during lunch. Mr. Holmes love for Taylor Swift. Almost falling off a wall this year. Hanging out with new friends. Making new friends. Playing football and basketball at gym. Learning new stuff after school here. Hello, fifth graders. My home sister can be scared. Here's some advice to help us get through. Be open minded and making more friends. Pay attention. Do your homework. Don't lose your schedule. Focus on grades, ask questions if you're confused, be organized, use your planner, keep trying to get the Thank you again for coming to our graduation. Now it's time for us to get out of phones. Mrs. Carter's class, if you all would stand up and get in line of order over there so you can get your diplomas. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Carter's class, if you all would stand up and get in line of order over there so you can get your diplomas. Mrs. Carter's class, if you all would stand up and get in line of order over there Vivian Yes, 
and this panty fest line up in line order on the side of the stage. Brittany Anderson. Mm. Mm. 
mong khao thêm mong chờ cơ lẽ chờ Alright, 